Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at the latest update to Windows 10. Uh, this is the 15.11 update, also known as Threshold 2, or the Fall update. As you can see, we've downloaded the ISO from uh, MSDN, and we are now going to use the latest version of Rufus to create a bootable USB stick. Um, we could also just mount this to have a look at the files that are on there. Um, so we can see, you know, it's much like a standard uh, one. But we're going to run Rufus. And with this now loaded, we do not want to check online for new versions. So we are going to select from desktop the ISO. Now one thing we have to set on this is whether we want to do a MBR um, partition for BIOS or UEFI CSM. So this is for older systems which don't use U UEFI booting or are running in legacy mode. Or if as I'm doing this on uh, Intel Nook which is in UEFI boot mode I'll create a GPT partition scheme for UEFI and hit start on that. That will then start copying all our Windows files over to the USB stick. Uh, the nice thing with this update and having the ISO for this is it will allow installs to be carried out with the Windows 7 or Windows 8 product keys. So whereas I've had machines here where I wanted to do a clean install of Windows 10, um, but I had Windows 8 on there, I had to do the upgrade from 8 to 10 and then do a clean install of Windows 10 so that it was already registered as activated so you just had to double up on those operations. With this that shouldn't be necessary anymore. It's also got some other upgrades such as um, changes to how the OS works in terms of some new features like the new Skype app, messaging apps and various bits and pieces like that as well as sort of high contrast window borders. So it should be a nice upgrade to get onto the machine. Anyway, I'll speed this up now just to get us through to the end of the process and then we can take a look at the actual installation. So with that now complete, we are going to restart the system. And now I will boot into the UEFI just to select my boot device. And they're going to boot from my USB stick. And now the installer should be familiar to anyone, but we can see it's now copyright 2016. Now at this point it's saying activate Windows. Traditionally this would have said skip. Um, so this is where now you would be able to enter 7 or 8. But I'm going to say I don't have a product key because this device is actually already activated. I'm then going to select to install. I don't recall which version I had on here. I believe it's home. Then we can see last updated July 2015, so that's not too recent. Still the same license agreement as before. 
and I'm going to say I want to upgrade the install. No, I'm not. I'm going to go back. I'm going to do a clean install. I'm going to delete all the partitions I have on this machine because I don't have anything on here that I want to keep. And once again, I'll speed this up as people don't really want to watch the uh, Windows install process. So now we can see with the setup complete. And if we go to settings. We can see now we are on the 10.586 build, not the original 10.240 build that Windows 10 shipped on, and it's listed at version uh, 15.11. So the update, or the, well, the clean install of this new version has been completed. And activation, because this device had already been activated and we can see here Windows 10 on this device is activated with a digital entitlement. We haven't had to enter any key or carry out any extra activation. It's just automatically worked. I hope you found this video useful. Be sure to check out more on my channel and subscribe if you want to keep in touch with new videos as we post them. Thanks for watching.